Hola a todos y bienvenidos. In this lesson, we're going to be learning how to conjugate stem changing verbs. So as you'll remember, um, verbs in Spanish can end in either AR, ER, or IR in their infinitive form. And also that when you're approaching the conjugating process, you have to see what part of the verb is the stem and what part is the ending. The ending is going to change according to the form that it's in. If it's in the yo form, the to form, the la usted form, and so on. Right? So in this lesson, though, we're going to be looking at verbs that have a change also in their stem in certain forms, not in all of them. But before we do that, let's review how to conjugate regular verbs in the present tense. So the first one that we're going to look at is hablar, which means to speak. And its different forms are yo hablo, tú hablas, él, ella o usted habla, nosotros hablamos, vosotros habláis, y ellos, ellas y ustedes hablan. So those are the endings for verbs that end in AR in the present tense. O, as, a, amos, ais, and an. The ER verbs, we're going to go with comer, which means to eat. Yo como, tú comes, él, ella y usted come, nosotros comemos, vosotros coméis, y ellos, ellas y ustedes comen. O, es, e, hemos, eis, en. And finally, for IR verbs, vivir, which means to live. Yo vivo, tú vives, él, ella y usted vive, nosotros vivimos, vosotros vivís, y ellos, ellas y ustedes viven. O, es, e, imos, is, o, en. Okay, so now that we have that down, let's look at how stem changing works. Okay, I've made some lists here. The first one is going to be verbs that change in their stem from O to UE. Okay, these lists are not totally comprehensive, so there may be more verbs than what I'm giving you here, but these are some examples of verbs that work in this way. If you put them into columns, it might make it easier to remember what type of stem change you're looking at, but these have to be memorized, okay? So the next column has verbs that change from an E to an IE, such as empezar, entender, pensar, perder, preferir, querer, and venir. And finally, we have verbs that change from E to I, such as pedir, repetir, seguir, Servir. And before we get to that slide, um, I've underlined here the vowel in the stem where the stem change takes place in the conjugating process. This is important because you have, for example, in the E to IE category in this column, you have preferir, and it has two letter E's in the stem. So you have to memorize which one is the one that gets the stem change. In this case, it's the second E. The same thing with the E to I column. The verb repetir, which means to repeat, it's the second E that gets the stem change and not the first one. Okay, so in your notes, you can make columns. There are more stem change types than what I have listed here, okay? But these are just an example of how to organize your notes to help you learn them. The first verb that I have here is poder, which means to be able to or can. We use it with phrases such as puedo ir al baño. Can I go to the bathroom? As you may have learned in your high school Spanish class. Okay, so... In the yo form, yo puedo, tú puedes, él, ella, usted puede, nosotros podemos, vosotros podéis, y ellos, ellas, o ustedes pueden. The forms that have the stem change have been highlighted in green. These verbs are also called boot verbs because the shape of this chart that is colored in green, highlighting the ones that have the stem change, looks sort of like a shoe or a boot. I hope that that helps you to remember what forms the stem change happens in and in which forms it doesn't. So the nosotros and the vosotros form, no stem change. 
The only thing you're changing when you're conjugating them is the endings in the present tense. Let's look at another verb. Preferir. So I selected this one because it's one of those that this is the second vowel in the stem that changes and not the first. This is an E to IE verb, means to prefer. Yo prefiero, tú prefieres, él, ella o usted prefiere. Nosotros preferimos, vosotros preferís, y ellos, ellas y ustedes prefieren. So you can see that the boot dynamic works for this verb as well. It works for all of those verbs that were in the columns that I showed you earlier. Okay, and the final, finally, we're doing an IR verb, repetir. I've selected another verb that has more than one vowel in the stem to practice. Yo repito, tú repites, él, ella, usted repite, nosotros repetimos, vosotros repetís, and ellos, ellas y ustedes repiten. So that's how stem changing verbs work in Spanish. Please let me know if you have any questions. And I look forward to continuing in this process of learning Spanish with you. Take care.